to our headlines here. An investigation is underway in Anderson tonight after someone burglarized a local pet food pantry. The thief was caught on camera stealing the cash register and causing hundreds of dollars in damage. But as Fox 59's Max Lewis tells us, the community has stepped up to help them get back on their feet. It started out as any other day for Susan Blake. She showed up at her thrift store, Mitzi's Morsels, on Tuesday morning to get some work done. I walked up to the door and it was unlocked, came in, there was glass all over the floor, and then I saw all the wires over the counter. And then it dawned on me, I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> we've been robbed. When she checked her surveillance cameras, she found this, a man busting into her shop, trying to open the locked cash register. And when that didn't work, he decided to just take the whole thing with him. And as if taking the register wasn't enough, the thief also stuck his hand right in this donation jar and took all the cash inside. Altogether, Blake says she's out close to a thousand bucks. You feel so violated that somebody's coming in this space that you've You've worked really hard to, you know, provide a great service for our low-income families. Blake started her thrift store three years ago to help low-income people obtain food and supplies for their pets. All the revenue goes to provide free spaying and neutering services. And when word spread about what had happened, people stepped up to help. Who robs a rescue or, you know, a not-for-profit, especially around the holidays? Paula Mottweiler runs a local hair salon and had been collecting donations for Blake's store. When she heard what happened, she headed straight there with more than $500 in cash and lots of pet supplies. You could see the relief in her that, you know, it just made her feel better that I think that, you know, someone showed up and cared that day. And it didn't stop there. Blake says the Madison County Community Foundation started a fundraiser and is matching up to $1,000 in donations. After falling victim to people at their worst, she says it was wonderful to also see them at their best. We have to be a little bit more diligent, but there's still good people in the world. There's a lot of good people in the world. In Anderson, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Blake says they received some tips about the identity of the robber, and those have been forwarded now to police. If you'd like to donate, we have information on how you can do that on our website, fox59.com.